Hello everyone, welcome to video 21 of chapter 3. So in this video, we'll take another example of using artificial variable. So we call this example AV2, AV4 artificial variable. And the example is the following. So we have this system, possibly it's a constraint. It's uh, given here, okay? Mm, take a look, that's our system. And we see that um, this is not in canonical form, but uh, the right-hand side is positive. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add two artificial variables, one for each equation. So we add um, x5 for the first equation and add x6 for the second equation. Then we introduce the variable w, which is x5 plus x6, and it will satisfy this equation, the last one, and we try to minimize W. So just to recall, how do you obtain the last equation? Well, you um, add up the coefficients on each column, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and then you take the negative of that, so it becomes plus 1, okay? So you do that for all the non-basic variables, and you leave the basic variables here blank. And this number is uh, the negative of uh, the sum of these two. Okay? So once this is set up, we see that it's a LP problem in canonical form. And we can um, give it to LP assistant and solve it there. Okay, so here is the tableau. Um, from using LP Assistant and uh, the first block here is the initial canonical form problem. We just punch in the data and then we specify basic variables here, x5, x6, and then you look at the coefficients here and identify negative ones. Here we see there are two, negative four, negative three, so I know we have said that we would choose the one with the more negative ones, but actually that doesn't really matter. So here I go through the example that we, we just pick a negative one, say this one. You can, you can do this as a practice on your own to see if you still get the same result. Okay, so negative three. So in this column, let's check the ratio. That's 12. And that's 21, so that's smaller. So I will click on that. Once you click on that, and the second portion of the tableau will be shown in your LP assistant. And then let's look at the coefficients here. I see there are two of them, minus one, minus two. So let's pick the minus two. And look at this column. There's only one positive coefficient, and that's the one we pivot. And then we click on this, okay? So after you click, then you get the next part of the tableau. So pay attention that the basic variables are changed. We switch x5 and x6 now completely with the x3 and x4, okay? So, once, so the third part of the tableau is obtained after you click on that. And then let's look at the coefficient on the objective function, and we see that's one and one, and everywhere else is zero. So nothing's negative here, so we conclude that the minimum is obtained, and W minimum is zero, and it's obtained at uh, um, this constraint in canonical form. So X4 is 21, X3 is nine, X1, X2 are zero, okay? And then this part is in canonical form. You put your constraint in, in that form. And if it's a problem of LP assistant, then you can put this back into the LP assistant and continue. Okay, so um, and this is a short video. Hope it explains a little bit better. And uh, I'll see you next time.